started doing this. <coughs> touching. Uh, That's what we find is touching. You got to do this quick, and the whole idea is just to get them to blink. Here's your best eye poke. Yep. That's, That's your, your best, best eye poke. poke. So if you guys, anything you do to make the eyes blink is good. I'm all for finger flicking, but it's a very skilled technique. Because look at this. Everybody come in here. Look at the ocular cavity here. This bone protects it. In UFC, people get poked in the eye to differing effects. One of my problems with the the golden trio of groin, throat, and eyes is it doesn't work all the time on everyone. All right, nothing does. So if I poke somebody in the eye, sometimes he just keeps fighting. I had a guy blow his orbital rim out, and he still continued fighting for two minutes after that. Afterwards, he couldn't see, and he threw up. It did affect him, but he was in the fight until it was over. All right. Uh, sometimes you get in the throat, you go down. I've seen several emergency tracheotomy. I've seen guys take full shots and not even respond to it. Groin kicks are really weird. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it takes a little while. What we need to do is strike not just to cause pain, to distract, to disorient, to unbalance the person, okay? You give your striking a reason instead of just, I'm going to try to hurt him. You don't know if you hurt him. You're never gonna know. It's the same thing with shooting. We don't shoot to hurt them, what do we do? We shoot to stop them. When you strike, you better start striking and making sure that you just keep hitting until you're, you're good to go. Uh, it's very hard to access these things. If you want to poke an eye, everybody come here. I'm going to teach you the golden method of eye pokes. Okay? Come on in. You're going to have to get real close because this is nasty business. Most people don't have any idea how to poke an eye. What you do is you take your hand and you lock it around the skull. You take your thumb, you put it in the tear duct. All right? You drive it as deeply into the tear duct as you can. Insert your thumb behind the eye and press as hard as you can towards the side of the cavity. If you do that to somebody, they will drop right where they're at. All right, but you have a grip on their head. You drive the thumb in and put it sideways. Okay. Oh yeah. Like I've done this. It works. The guy stops fighting. But this, not necessarily. I just did it to myself. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes.